If you're like me, then you probably struggle to find quick and easy meal ideas for your toddler. If you're also like me, then you're probably no Rachel right in the kitchen. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Because in today's video, I'm sharing nine healthy, quick, and easy toddler meal ideas for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So if you need some mealtime help, then don't go anywhere. Hey everyone, I'm Jess and on The Innovative Mama, you'll find helpful videos on pregnancy, parenting, and early education. So if you have a little one at home, then I'd love for you to join our YouTube family by giving that subscribe button and the notification bell below a quick click so that you never miss any helpful videos. Make sure you stick around to the end because I have a toddler meal hack that you're not gonna wanna miss. But for now, let's take it over to the kitchen and check out some of these easy toddler meal ideas. So first up on our breakfast list is carrot cake oatmeal. So you're gonna need some cinnamon, quick oats, maple syrup, raisins, shredded carrots, and whole milk. Measure out a quarter cup of oatmeal and then just add enough water to cover the oats before stirring them. Next, you're just gonna go ahead and microwave them for one minute. I chose to just use shredded carrots for this, but you could just shred one yourself if you'd like, and then I just cut them up into smaller pieces. Next, you're gonna stir in one to two tablespoons of milk, I chose to do two, one tablespoon of maple syrup, add the shredded carrots and some raisins. I like to go ahead and mix everything together after each step, just to ensure that everything's mixed well. And then before serving, just add some cinnamon on top and mix it one last time. This was Luke's first time trying this and he definitely really loved it. So I just think it's a great option to mix up oatmeal a little bit. Next up for breakfast, we have banana pancakes or fruit pancakes, whatever you wanna put in them. I love using this Kodiak cake mix. We get this big thing from Costco, but I love that they have extra protein in them so they are more filling. I don't normally do this step, but today I had an extra ripe banana, so I just decided to put it in first before I put the mix in and then mash it up with a fork to mix it in with a dry batter. For the pancake mix, you just do however much you want for the dry mix and then just add equal parts water. I was cooking for the whole family this morning, so I did two cups of dry mix and then two cups of water. I actually think I wound up adding a tiny bit more water because I mashed that ripe banana in in the beginning, so just keep that in mind if you choose to do the same thing. Then I just take a whisk and whisk everything together before adding some sliced bananas. What's mommy gonna make? Pancakes. What kind of pancakes is mommy making? Banana. Banana pancakes. Luke is clearly very excited about the banana pancakes. They are one of his favorites. So I like to try and let him get in on the cooking as much as possible. Once everything's mixed together, I just go ahead and melt some butter in a skillet and then scoop out around four mini pancakes. I do put a little bit of butter on these and then cut them in half so they're a little easier for Luke to eat. Our last breakfast recipe are these vegetable and cheese egg cups. You can use whatever kind of veggies you want. I just stuck with broccoli. But these are super easy and quick to make, and they're a great option for meal prepping for the week if you wanna have something to just pull out of the fridge and stick in the microwave. You wanna start by preheating your oven to 375 degrees, and then you're gonna crack six large eggs into a medium-sized bowl. Next, measure out a quarter cup of milk and then whisk the eggs and the milk together. Like I said, I chose broccoli for this recipe, but you can choose whatever kind of veggies you like. Just chop up enough for a half a cup and then add them to your egg mixture. Next, you're going to add half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese and then salt and pepper to taste before mixing everything together until it's well combined. Next, you're gonna take your muffin tin and generously spray eight cups with cooking spray before scooping the mixture into the cups. 
Just a note, you don't wanna fill them up too much, so make sure they're about three quarters of the way full. Place them in the oven and bake them for 20 to 25 minutes or until the eggs have set and the cheese is golden brown. I serve this dish with some cut up grapes and some chicken sausage that I got at Costco. So our first lunch recipe is avocado toast. So I'm just popping in a piece of toast right here and then washing off some veggies that I'm gonna serve with it. Today I'm gonna be serving these with some grape tomatoes and mini cucumbers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slice those up while I wait for the toast to be done. Once the toast is done, you're just gonna cut an avocado in half and then scoop most of it out onto the toast and spread it out. I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper on top, but you can skip this step if you want, and then I just cut it up into slices so that it's easier for Luke to eat. And then as a last step, I'm just adding a tiny bit of Marie's ranch dressing for dipping. This was actually Luke's first time trying the avocado toast. I had introduced him to avocados in the past and he didn't really like them. So definitely keep trying things with your child if they don't like it at first, cause he really loved it this time around. I think definitely adding the salt and pepper helped. So experiment with those kinds of things if they don't like it at first. Second on our lunch menu, we have the incredibly easy pizza muffins. So I'm just cutting a whole wheat English muffin in half and then spreading around some tomato sauce or marinara sauce or pizza sauce, whatever you wanna use onto the muffin. Next, you're just gonna to top it with some shredded mozzarella and then pop it into the toaster oven or conventional oven for a few minutes, just until the cheese melts on top. I'm serving this with some berries today. So while that's cooking in the toaster oven, I just washed and prepped some blueberries and strawberries. I just sliced up the muffin into little strips before going ahead and feeding this to Luke. Our third easy lunch is mac and cheese and veggies. You can totally do homemade mac and cheese, but I love the Annie's and today I'm making it with peas. So I'm just gonna go ahead and microwave the peas and while I'm doing that, I'm just going to follow the directions on the cup to prep the mac and cheese. Once the mac and cheese comes out of the microwave, I'm just gonna mix in the cheese first and then go ahead and dump in the peas and stir everything together. This is definitely one of Luke's favorite lunches. He loves mac and cheese and peas, and I think that this is a great way to hide vegetables if your child isn't a big vegetable eater. So first up on our dinner menu is this chicken enchilada casserole. It is so good and so easy to make. I love it because it is lower carb, but you can totally add tortillas or wraps to it if you'd like. The easiest way that I've found to do this is to just pick up a rotisserie chicken from the supermarket and then just shred it with a fork or your fingers. If you wanna do it another way and cook your own chicken, you just need one and a half pounds of shredded chicken. Each time that we've made this, we've just used the whole rotisserie chicken. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes a little less, but it doesn't seem to matter. For the next step, you're just gonna take a small bowl and add in half a cup of chicken broth, a quarter of a cup of cream cheese, and a half of a cup of sour cream. Place that bowl off to the side, and then you're gonna take another small bowl and add one 10 ounce can of enchilada sauce, one to two tablespoons of taco seasoning, and a 4.5 ounce can of green chilies. Next, you're gonna heat a large skillet over medium to low heat, and then add in one tablespoon of olive oil. Once the oil is warm, you're gonna add that bowl that has the chicken broth, cream cheese, and sour cream, and cook until everything is melted and well combined. Once everything's mixed together, you're gonna add in that second bowl with the taco seasoning, the green chilies, and the enchilada sauce, and stir everything to combine. 
Next, add the shredded chicken to the skillet and simmer until it's heated through before topping with one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I just choose to stir the cheese right in and melt it right into the dish, but if you have an oven safe skillet, then you can pop it into the oven and broil it for three minutes to melt the cheese if you want it more browned and crispy. Like I said, you can either serve it like this, just scoop it into a bowl, or you can wrap it up in a tortilla. I actually just served it with some chips this time, which Luke really, really liked. I am not a spicy food lover, and I don't find this dish to be spicy, but if you do, you can just add more sour cream to it if you find it to be too much for you. But if anything, it's a very, very mild. Next up, we have a classic grilled cheese, and we're just adding some grape tomatoes to the center of this to make it a little more healthy. But make sure you stick around because you're gonna get my husband's grilled cheese cooking secret. Just take two slices of whole wheat bread, and then we spread one side of each completely with butter. Next, you're gonna flip over each side to the non-buttered side, and then on one side, you're gonna put three slices of cheese, and then add in the tomatoes or whatever you have in the middle if you'd like. Next, you're gonna place it on a skillet over medium heat and then just let it cook, flip it a couple of times. My husband likes to press it down with a spatula. Don't let it get too burnt and here is my husband's trick. So he cuts it in half and then he places it in the microwave for about 10 seconds so it gets the cheese really nice and melted on the inside without getting it burnt. While we were waiting for that to be done, I just went ahead and washed and cut up some strawberries and cucumbers to serve on the side. You're welcome. Come, come, come. 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 Clearly, Luke approves of this meal. Oh my goodness, talk about an easy dinner. This pizza bake literally takes less than 10 minutes to prep and only about 20 to 25 minutes to cook. You're going to need two tubes, 7.5 ounces each of refrigerator biscuits, 10 biscuits per tube. So this is something that we kind of messed up with. So definitely, definitely follow the directions on that because we actually had to bake ours more in the end because we got biscuits that were a different size. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees and grease a 9 by 13 baking dish with non-stick cooking spray. Flatten each biscuit with the palm of your hand and you're going to place 12 biscuits in the bottom of the pan. So we messed up with this so don't follow what you see on the screen because that was not correct and like I said we had to bake ours for way longer in the end. Next you're going to spread 7 ounces of pizza sauce over the biscuits and then top it with 1 cup of shredded mozzarella. Next, you're gonna top with about 15 pepperoni. Clearly, my husband really likes pepperoni, so he was just pouring it on there. And then you're gonna do another layer of the same thing. So you're gonna do eight flattened biscuits on top, add the remaining seven ounces of sauce, and then add the last cup of cheese and another 15 or however many pepperoni. I even went in and added a little more cheese in here, so you do you. Place it into your oven and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes or until the biscuits are cooked through. So like I said, we had to go back and cook this for way longer because our biscuits were a different size. So they were not cooked all the way when we first took this out. And then you just cut it into squares, but this meal wound up being so good and so easy and it is definitely toddler approved. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, I'm no chef. My husband is usually the one doing the cooking or we're doing it together. If you don't have lots of time to cook or you just don't like it, this meal hack could be a lifesaver and that is trying a meal delivery service for kids. 
I will leave some links to video reviews I've done on some healthy toddler meal delivery services that have been complete lifesavers for us. These meal options are awesome for those nights where you just can't seem to muster up the energy to cook or you're just too busy, but you still wanna give your toddler a healthy, nutritious meal. So definitely go ahead and check those out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful and don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.